Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, we will continue our look at the Microsoft Edge browser and uh, in this video we'll look at the collections feature. What is it exactly? So in Microsoft Edge they did a few changes that was made to try to find a way to have a better usage of you know having your favorite websites in a uh, in a place so of course one of the things that there is is the favorites and these still exist actually but one of the things also that is uh, available is collections collections is a different thing than favorites favorites you have a list you can of course make folders but it's technically a list of your favorite websites in collections, you have a little more visual aspect and it is easy to actually access by the collections feature uh, or icon on the top right. So the way that it's made is to be visually more appealing than just favorites. And it, of course, will help you create collections of websites depending on a subject, for example. Uh, so you can start a new collection. In that new collection, you'll give it a name. You know, I know that some of you will say, well, you know, I do that in favorites. I'm okay with that. And that's fine. I mean, you don't have to use the uh, new features. I find, uh, personally, I find that collections is more fun to use. And it's, of course, more visually appealing because you have a, uh, a view of whatever collection or, or website that you put in there. So say that I'm going to put medical as the title here of my collection. Now, once that is done, you'll have, of course, the medical collections done. So what that means is, for example, if I go to WebMD and check out a website like this one. Well, what you could do is, of course, when you're in the collections, you can add your current page or you can, of course, add it uh, manually. And, of course, you add the different pages. And what's nice is you have a bigger visual. You know, in the favorites, you have a title with a very small icon. Here you have a visual of whatever it is. Uh, you can, of course, add notes to the different uh, favorites. You know, um, I don't know. Uh, you know, diagnostic and news, for example. And put it here which means that you'll have a little bit more information about whatever it is. You can specify what um, one of the websites and collections will be like or what it is exactly. And of course, you have ways of sharing a collection. You have ways of um, also syncing collections between the browsers. So as we will move on, the collections are going to sync between the different Edge browser that you use. And it's kind of a easy, visually appealing uh, place to go. If you want to remove something that you've had, for example, you can just simply put a little check mark in front of a full collection. For example, say I'm going to delete this. Uh, say I want to have this one. I'm going to delete this one, which is useless. Uh, anything news, uh, new? I'm going to delete the syncing one. Uh, I'm going to delete anything new also here. So different things that you do, you can add or you can remove and you can easily manage all of that in your different collections, of course, space exploration. So here, for example, let's go space weather. How about I add space.com, which I often go to. So I can add this current page here, space.com and so on. So you create collections. Once again, I know that some of you do this already in your favorites and might not find it, you know, more interesting to do it in the collections feature, but it's available and it's here if you need it. It's easy access. I find it visually much more interesting to look at than the favorites, but um, it's up to you to decide and you create your collections of websites. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.